Good morning, Lion Hearts. It's an early, quiet, rainy day here in Porto, and today we leave. We're gonna hit it to the train station and we're gonna go to, I think, what is the most beautiful stop on our tour of Portugal. A little place full of castles of majesty and beauty called Sintra. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. And I'm gonna miss looking at these old signs from my balcony. Complimentary breakfast and then we are out of here. As I'm leaving here, I just noticed this church. I just, I unfortunately don't have enough time to go in. And we've definitely seen a lot of churches since we've been here, but I always appreciate the crazy beautiful patterns that they put here on these walkways and when I saw this I said you know what we got to look at that before we go because there's a lot to it plus I can hear they're having a service in there so we're gonna head off and catch our train now I sure hope when we get four hours away from here, this rain is done. So far this trip, we've pretty much been on the west, and now when we go to Central, we're gonna kinda be on the east. All right, we made it to the Campania train station. Now I gotta go buy a ticket and hopefully head off to Sintra. Well, the good news is I have a ticket. The bad news is it doesn't leave for an hour and a half. Kind of a bummer because I have such a long time to kill and there's not much to do in this part of town, but wait. <laughs> As opposed to Italy, they actually assign you seats and train cars on these, so you actually have to go find yours and I'm almost, every time I've been all the way down at the end. <laughs> But this time I did get to request my seat, so I requested a window. Last time I just got lucky. Well, we just landed back in Lisbon, and now I have to take a train from here to Sintra. We've made it to Sintra. I'm gonna go find my Airbnb, drop my stuff off, and start exploring. It's about 3 p.m. already. Dude, it's a long day when you travel. That's just right off the train. That's not even a destination. What? See, GNR, like I told you. Most people just come here for a day trip, but I decided to spend the night. I wanna spend a couple of days here looking around. Well, my host said to take a right at the Lisboa sign. Okay, I think we should move into Sintra. What do you think? Look at the houses. It's like a whole new world. Like you walked into a fairy tale almost. <laughs> I am not kidding, I think I found paradise. Check this out, I'm staying right across the street from that. So cool, look at that mail slot. All right, well I made it. I got a little room here in Sintra. Now let's drop off the stuff and go exploring. Well, hello my friends, we've made it. I took an Uber up here because it was gonna be a 40 minute walk uphill in the rain. So we are going to tour today, Palace de Pena, which started out as a church at the top of a stone mountain here in Sintra, and was created because of an apparition of the Virgin Mary. And then after that, we're gonna go down to the Moorish Castle. A lot of people are taking the tram up and walking down, but I'm gonna walk it up. I think it's like 15 minutes to walk up it. If there's one thing I found out with traveling, you never know what you'll find on foot. So it's always best to walk it if you can. I guess we could take that way or keep going this way. I love the nature on the walk up here. It's like a rainforest. There it is, let's keep going. I guarantee this will be worth it. Well, this rain certainly isn't gonna help our cause with all that fog but it's a beauty, trust me. If 
feel like you're at Disneyland right now. They said the way this castle was created, it could actually be divided into four sections. Wow. Take it in. Before we start exploring it. Some of you lucky people are getting souvenirs from here too. FYI. Cool drawbridge. If you think I don't do my homework before I go on trips, trust me, <laughs> I look a lot before I go somewhere. What's in the vicinity that's worth seeing and this was number one on the list. Cool. Look at all the pathways you can take. People getting up in the castle tops. Maybe I'll do that right now too. Pretty thin staircase, but let's do it. We're already like miles above the world anyway. What's a few more? Can you imagine living in something like this? Or even just staying in it, like an Airbnb type deal. Well, let's go on in. Check that out, the first thing I saw was the key to the Iron Gate from the 19th century. There's the dining area. And here's one of the bedrooms, kind of reminds you of Hearst Castle. Here's one of the offices. Can you imagine that being your balcony out there? Goodness. There's a day room. I love those ceilings. So there's a little placard here that says, the Palace of Pena was the first royal of the royal residences to be fitted with specific facilities for sanitation, designed for personal body hygiene. King Carlos and a number of the, number of the facilities were used by King Carlos. We're kind of working our way around this little square here, all the rooms around it. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that railing. That's awesome. This is into the clock tower. Look at all that. Look at all that tiling in the clock tower. That is so cool. Now we are on the second floor. Now this room, it says, was once the dressing room of the Countess of Elda. And then this one says this was the bedroom of the Lady-in-Waiting. Look at the detail all the way around this. That is insanely intricate. Oh my gosh. This is the bedroom of Ferdinand II. Later bedroom of Queen Amelia. We're in Ferdinand II's bedroom. Why 
Now let's go to the next room. And this is the study of Ferdinand II. Later, the dressing room of Queen Amelia. So we are in a king and queen's bedroom and dressing room today. Wow, look at that chair. And this is the tea room, it says. Remember we saw that in that briefcase statue the other day. Look at that armoire. Wow. Wow. Look at that old telephone. Wow. And this is the Arabic room. Kind of dark in here though. And then this one is the green room. Obviously green. Take a look at that. Oh, the atelier of Countess of Edla. Wow. Oh, wow. Check out this violin. This is the gallery second room. Oh, now take a look at this. And this is actually the smoking room. Oh wow, we can't use it, but check out this stairwell. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Madonna in, eat your heart out. This is the Great Hall, of course. Yeah, I, I think you can definitely entertain some folk in here. Oh, look at the windows. So this is called the stag room. As you can tell, there's stags mounted all over the walls. 
as well as a really amazing model of where we're at right now. So this will be your uh, drone shot for this. <laughs> This is awesome. What an amazing experience inside here. Well, here's the kitchen where all the meals for everyone in the castle would have been made. Pretty big. And right at the very top of the castle, they have a restaurant <laughs> that nobody's using. But look at that. Photo op. This is what I'm looking at right now. Sorry for all the haze. Wow. Now that's a castle. And we made it all the way around back to the front. Look right out there on the corner, there's like a reptile head popping out of the side of the castle. Let's go out here on this thing before we go down to the uh, Moorish Castle. Pretty good view from here as well. That's kind of cool, there's a little pathway down here too. I don't know how I'm ever gonna go to Disneyland or look at another castle after seeing this without just like rolling my eyes. This is incredible. Now let's head down to the other castle. Good times. All right, we're gonna make the hike down the hill now. I went in the gift shop, I couldn't find one thing in the gift shop I liked. Not even a postcard. We're gonna take a nature walk this time because we took the safe way up here. Let's get lost on the way back. Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the morning last. Tripping down the cobblestones, looking for fun and feeling groovy, feeling groovy. Since seventh grade, when my history teacher loaned me that cassette, because I used to wear a Jimi Hendrix shirt, every time I see cobblestone, I think of that song. Well, in the few days I've been here, I have walked an enormous amount of steps. Oh, look at this, like a secret entrance into the castle, probably.